Bully Beatdown show on MTV in the 2000s. I just read the fucking Wikipedia for you. The first episode air date was in 2009. It was a uh, help of mixed martial arts artist fighter Jason Mayhem Miller. They would take uh, bullies and the people that were victimized by them, and then they would have the bully step into the ring with an MMA fighter. Anyways, we're gonna watch Bully Beatdown. I have seen this show as a youth, but I really forget everything, honestly. I think I've only seen like an episode. I feel like it was when my like older sisters put it on or something. Anyways, let's get into Bully Beatdown. I just looked up a funny episode and that's what we're doing. Yeah, so this one's called Wes the Meat Stick Bully. So I thought that title also clued me in to definitely wanting to watch this one. This is Chris. Wes antagonizes me while I'm at work. Who could ever pick on such a lovable lump of human? What's up, baby? I'm the biggest, I'm the baddest, pure meat stick. His name is Wes. He's a tobacco spitting. Oh! Damn, Hockey what a meat stick. Yeah! Fuck. Texan with a bad attitude. Yeah, meat stick's what they used to call me in college, too. Gunner meat stick client. Everyone said it. You're the wrong cowboy, baby. I came here for these knuckles to crack some bones, baby. Whoa! He's accepted my offer to get in the cage to try to take my 10 grand. You mind if I giggle? Giggle away. <laughs> Tony the Gun Bonello has other plans. <laughs> in this show, I mean, I guess I'll find out as we do more. Has there been a time in this show where the bully just beats the shit out of the MMA guy? <laughs> <laughs> that's an episode I want to watch where the bully wins and it's like, oh, wow, that sucks. Because at a certain point, why would the bully even come on the show? They know they're going to get their ass kicked. Tonight's bully is more than just your average run-of-the-mill, red-haired, drive through loving hockey-playing, tobacco-spitting Texan. He's also a complete a He loves to pick on my favorite victim ever. Check it out. It's a weird way of saying that, my favorite victim ever. <laughs> Mayhem, it's Chris. I work at a fast food restaurant. I have this bully who antagonizes me while I'm at work. His name's Wes. Believe it or not, he's a customer. Interesting. So Chris isn't in school. This is a guy at work. I thought it was going to be like high schoolers and people in college. We're talking about a guy in the real world and his bully. That's sad, man. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he's a customer that comes into work and he's a dick to him every day. The fuck? Yeah, I know. This show would be wild if they were beating the shit out of high schoolers. But how good television would that be if they were just beating the shit out of high school bullies? We're relaunching the show under my idea. He's throwing french fries at me, drinks, burgers. He's pushed me and hit me to just the latest and trying to run me over with a car. He throws french fries and burgers. Oh fuck, that sucks, that's awful. Trying to hit you with a car? We've now escalated a hundredfold. You tried to hit you with a car. That's not a bully. You have someone out to kill you. You have an assassin on your tail. You need to call the police, not bully beatdown. Get him off reality TV show. Get him behind bars. And this is where he tried to run me down. It was a busy night and I was headed out. After work, all of a sudden I saw some lights come straight at me and I heard him screaming in this crazy yeehaw kind of Texan style. I jetted from my car. <laughs> I think it's the fastest I've ever ran in my life. Okay, this is so hard to know if I'm supposed to take seriously or not. I'm going into this with the assumption that a lot of this is fake. I'm gonna be sympathetic where I can, but like we're reenacting this guy supposedly trying to hit him with his car. <laughs> That's a lot. Okay, all right, what happened next? If I hadn't run, he would have got me. I used to love to go out and hike and, and surf, and I'm afraid to do that now. I just sit inside and I've been eating a lot, gaining weight. Okay, this isn't real. We're back to it so obviously fake, right? <laughs> Why can't you surf? He's not showing up to the beach. He doesn't have your location, buddy. He shows up to your job. Meets this guy harassing you everywhere. Help me out, man, please. This is Chris. He That's what I like to do with it before I bully somebody. I say, yeehaw, let's get him. All right, but let's beat the shit out of this bully. Chris, I've never said this to another man, but you're adorable. How could anyone pick on you? What do you hope to get out of getting him beat down today? I want him to feel how I was. Shut out, scared, alone, hurt. something happened today. Now, you're adorable, and I think you would never lie. But 
I'm gonna let Wes tell it. Check it out. All right, guys, hold on. Let's hear Wes's side of the story, all right? There's a chance that he had a good reason to drive his F-150 at him and say yeehaw. I like to hear two sides of the story, all right? I'm a Texan, I'm a hockey player, and I'm Irish. I'm the biggest, I'm the baddest, it's pure meat stick. We're bred to hurt people on and off the ice. There's no greater place in the world than Texas, man. That's God's country. What's up, baby? Anytime, anywhere. Game time, baby! I'll bully anybody. It's a lifestyle, all right? You take pride in what you do, you're not just gonna, you know, keep it on the ice. You're gonna do it anywhere you go. I'm gonna get you, baby! <laughs> Hold on, let's hear him out. Did he say, I like bullying, it's a lifestyle? Potentially, potentially he said that, and it might lead you to think that he's a bully, but it could be out of context. You don't know these days, anything can be taken out of context. I like to bully kindness into people, you know? Maybe they cut it, we got no idea. Let's hear him out. I'll throw fries and burgers at that kid all day long, and he doesn't say one damn word. You know why? Because he's afraid, he's a scared little bitch. And I don't like little bitches, I don't respect those people. You're about to get a storm of pure Texas domination. Pure meat stick, son. I'll rip your head off! Yeah! Okay, all right. I'm taking Chris's side. I'll put a line in the sand. I'm on team Chris. Yeah, this West guy is clearly super evil. I don't think I've seen any more mask off evil person in my life. Yeah, let's let's get this beat down, huh? I know, I know. I'm ready to supersize this meat stick beat down. Yeah! I also want to give him a side of bruised ribs and a concussion shake. It's a combo meal of pain and it's coming up next. Stick around. Coming up. Howdy. How's it going, buddy? I sit down with Wes and he shares his most intimate fantasies. I'd like to see the UFC fighters get in a pair of high heels and then just go at it. Wait, you want to see MMA guys in high heels go at it? Pretty progressive, man, actually. I don't know, maybe he's an ally. <laughs> I like to bully the fuck out of people. I'm bullying everybody. I was like passionate gay sex. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> Why not? I like when two men just get at it. Yep. I'll try to run you over my car. There's something so lovable about the passion between two men. And later, it takes some arm twisting, but we finally get this fight going. <laughs> You're even cuter when you see violence. <laughs> There's something a little almost bullyish a little bit about the fact that he continues to call him adorable. Is that just me? I don't know. He seems like a very kind, nice gentleman, but seems a little talk downish to be like, oh, this victim's so cute. <laughs> What an adorable victim we have today. He's so lovable, I just wanna hug this victim. Chris is a man, all right? He can be adorable sometimes, but he strikes fear other times. Oh, work. Wes has already accepted my challenge, yeah! and he's willing to get in the cage for a shot at 10 grand. But before I let him do it, I wanted to sit down with this hot-headed Texan and see if he is meat sticky enough to face my fighter. Couple questions, and then sure. we'll get you in the cage. Do you consider yourself a bully? That's your word, not mine. I'll bully anybody. What's your word? Meat stick, hard ass. Are you such a hard ass meat stick on Chris? Uh, well, the first time I met Chris, he gave me my food, and like I just grabbed the fries and threw it at him. I don't know why. That was phenomenal. I don't know, what, what would you do? How do you treat like a kid like that? What, what do you think? He's cute, cuddly, I dare say adorable. He's, he's what I call a little bitch, because he, he won't stand up for himself to me or anybody else. When you step in the cage against my guy. It's not real. <laughs> when I bought food from him, I threw my food at his face. I was so mad at him just being there. It's gonna be pure rage. And he's gonna see what a hockey player is like in the ring. When we're fighting on the ice, we're fighting, we're standing up on a piece of steel about a quarter of an inch thick. I'd like to see the UFC fighters get in a pair of high heels and then just go at it. Wait, you wanna see MMA guys in high heels go at it? <laughs> what, are you, what are you trying to imply? I don't know, man. That's not, meat stick's not my business. Um, well, I hope you sign the waiver and I'll see you in the cage. <laughs> I don't know where that was going. Time for me to introduce Chris to an even bigger meat stick, his MMA fighter. All right, man, I know that West has been a hell of a lot of problems for you. Yeah. But I have the solution right here. Tony the Gun Bonello. Yeah. <laughs> This is Tony the Gun Bonello. He's the a gun. veteran in the bully beatdown cage and a submission specialist. 
that's sick. He's just like me for real. Dope fucking nickname, dude. That's sick. Does he whip out a pistol when the fight's not going well? This two-time Australian champion of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has a record of 16, one and one with 14 submissions. You like the drive through How about I drive my fist through your face? Okay, he might be a bully too. Hey, brother. <laughs> That's me too. Look, uh, I haven't told him who he's fighting, but I'm gonna just make sure he's not chickening out. You guys get acquainted. All kind of stuff that he's doing to make him miserable. Uh, he throws <laughs> fries at me. Uh, <laughs> Oh God, that's like somebody's never gotten bullied in their life. What kind of things did he do to make your life a living hell? Uh, shakes, drinks, tries to trip me, pushes me. He tries to run me down in cars. So what would you let me do about it? Uh, take care of him. Make him feel what I felt. All right, I'll do my best to bring some peace. Thank you so much. Drives a car through the fucking ring. Hook, hook, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, baby, you ready to go? Look at this thing, son. I came here for one reason, baby. Wow. Bring some faces. Hey man, what's going on? What's up, buddy? Are you gonna do this or what? Ready to go. You seem a little excited. I'm ready to go out. Well, I'm also very excited for this. Can you tell? Why? You're gonna be sitting with a fat kid watching a good fight. Yes, I will. I'm telling you right now though, man, you're gonna be disappointed. Well, good to go, baby. Let's see how these guys stack up, shall we? The fuck, like it's, I mean, he knows he's going against a fucking pro MMA fighter. Where's the confidence even coming from? And the weight class is, is, is way out of range here. He's a full, almost 15 pounds heavier and two inches on him. Wes is from Plano, Texas. He's a hockey player and he calls himself a meat stick. Tony is from Bondi Beach, Australia. He's a submission expert and calls himself the gun. If this was a nickname contest, it would be too close to call, but it's not. So advantage, Bonello. I'm a mix of those two nicknames in college. They call me the gun with the meat stick. Ah, are you guys ready to see a beat down? Yeah! Are you ready to bring out the bully? Because I'm, I'm ready to bring Wes out. I want this one. Let's bring out the bully. This former college hockey player sees nothing wrong with ruining somebody's day at the office. He stands six feet tall. He weighs 197 pounds. Let's meet the meat stick from Texas. Wow! Bring out the meat stick. Nobody likes him. Yeah, I would love to go to one of these. You know, uh, there's again a lot of chat messages right now. You guys need to take a good look at your messages before you send them. Is this a message that a bully might send? Yeah, I signed you all up, motherfuckers. You're gonna be in the ring next week. Get ready. All right, man, you showed up. You ready to do this? Yeah, man, you ready to watch this? Yeah, I think you're gonna get beat up. You think I'm gonna get beat up? Really bad. All right, man. You got anything to say to Chris before this happens, man? I don't got my Jeep today to run you over. All right, man. Well, I got something to run you over. <laughs> don't got my Jeep today. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. If that was a real situation that actually happened, it's still crazy that we're being so nonchalant about it. <laughs> Yeehaw. You got anything to say to him right now? It's tonight. Your ass is grass. All right, man. You ready to meet the fighter for the first time? You bring out whoever you want, man. All right. Well, let's bring him out. Let's bring out your fighter. <laughs> He's held world titles in three different weight classes. Yeah. Standing six foot two, weighing 210 pounds. Let's hear it for Tony, the gun, Bonello. Up. Don't spoil it. Quest finds out why you never bring a meat stick to a gunfight. Oh, spoil the fucking knockdown. Come on. <laughs> he's my favorite victim ever because he's so damn cute. <laughs> he's been. 
porn. Okay, uh, you know, I said it before, that time was definitely bullying. That's how bullying works today. That's how bullying actually is, is that passive shit that he just did. That's real bullying. He's so cute. Give me those cheeks. Tormented at work by Wes, but tonight he's at my drive-thru and I'm serving up beat down. <laughs> Let's bring out your fighter! crazy as shows back then, they really only need to get like 10 minutes of usable footage because whenever they would come back from a commercial break, they would just play the same footage they just showed on the outro for another two minutes. It's really only like a 10 minute show. <laughs> I guess you guys don't got any words to say to each other. <laughs> I love uncomfortable silences. Listen, Chris, I think we're gonna let them Talk it out. <laughs> Big John McCarthy, enter the cage, please. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Come on, Chris. Let's get out of here. For round one, the rules are simple. Grappling only, no strikes allowed. The bully starts the round with $5,000, but loses $1,000 to his victim every time he's forced to tap out. Okay, this is actually interesting. I didn't know there was any monetary stakes to this. Tap out happens when a fighter is either caught in a choke, a leg lock, or an arm bar, and is forced to submit or face serious injury. And all the money the bully loses goes to his adorable victim and my new best friend, Chris. Every time. You, you have to describe your friend as adorable every single time. They're not your friend, man. You are bullying them. I don't see friends and, you know, I bring like another group of friends and they're like, oh, like, who are you bringing? And I'm like, my friend Joey, he's the ad adorable one. You know, like that's how I describe him. Like my adorable friend Joey. You guys are gonna love him. He's adorable. Joey should hate me. That's not how I should ever introduce him to people. Do you mind if I giggle? Giggle away. <laughs> Now that's a door. You ready? Skiro! Let's do this. And Tony Pinello, Tony Pinello, Tony Pinello, Tony Pinello. <laughs> He's the slam. Oh, oh single leg him. Single leg him. Yeehaw! Who just yeehaw? Is that him? Short He's on the ground. You shouldn't be yeehawing when you're on the ground. Choke him out. That's what you call an arm triangle. Oh, thousand dollars gone just like that. Choke him out, baby. Oh, Chris is getting hyped though. Double leg him. Slam him. Can't coach. He's coaching. Arm bar. Arm bar. I mean, this guy is an MMA professional fighter. Why are you coaching him? Just let him have a fair fight. Tap Country. out. Hey, take him down, quick. Get him, Tony, get him, Tony. Choke him out. Guillotine, guillotine. Oh, another tap out. Here we go. I'm starting to feel bad. Is that weird? I'm starting to feel a little bad. I know he tried to kill a man with his Jeep, but why do I feel a little sympathy? I don't know. This really is a bully beatdown. <laughs> He didn't hit him with his Jeep, he just tried to. We've all tried to hit somebody with our car before, right? Hey man, do you, would you like to continue? You sure? Well, remember the Alamo, because everybody died at the Alamo. <laughs> Crazy survive. demotivational sentence before you get back in the ring. Everybody died. You're gonna die. You think he's gonna survive? No. He's done for. He does these fake laughs all the time. Does he do this in every episode? Because it's starting to annoy me. <laughs> this fake evil laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and that's a sound bite when it always comes back. Welcome back always to Bully Beat Town. Where my buddy Chris just made four grand because his bully got tapped out four times. Tony Bonello unleashed submission after submission 
At one point, I thought he was gonna take Wes's arm home with him. Ooh, Jesus. And now he has another chance to win five grand. If he can make it for three minutes against my MMA fighter in the kickboxing round. If he quits, gets KO'd, or the ref has to stop the circles. fight, the whole 5K goes right here to Chris. <laughs> my strategy here would just be to fucking run laps around this man. I'm doing half circles, juking out left and right. The goal here would be to not fight for sure. I'm not a sissy. You're trying to make 5K. What do you mean? I'm talking strategy. He's a professional MMA fighter. I need you in chat to take that the fuck back. You call me a sissy. If you're trying to make $5,000, you have no training, and there's an, a professional MMA fighter against you, yeah, I'm running in circles. That's smart. That's good advice. All right? Yeah, you say I'm sorry. Yeah, you're the sissy. You said sorry. While you back down, you should have kept it going. Get cooked. Holy shit. Get in the ring with me. I'll run away. <laughs> He's winning. Oh man. Now fuck him up. This could get ugly. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, snap. Brian, this shall be interesting. Punch you up. Punch you up. Don't hold, Oh my god. Don't hold. Yo, punch his ass. <laughs> Whoopsie, baby. Why is it a fair fight? Why is it a fair fight? Beat him down. There it is. Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. That seemed like a more fair fight than it should have been, right? can't say to be fair he plays hockey i don't care how athletic you are or how built you are if you go into a fight and you don't have fighting experience and you're against someone who actually is in the mma you should get your ass absolutely kicked like easily right no fighting experience at all yeah Ouch. you ever kicked in the head like that before no okay one of the rules we MMA have is a sport be gunner. What, you don't say in MMA? MMA is an organization. Oh, shit. All right, look, sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes there's laps in our judgment. Sometimes we don't know everything there is to know about the universe. And sometimes we make a little oopsie daisies in our knowledge of things and we speak a little confidently and we've had some slip ups. Now, this is the first time I've ever had this happen live. And, you know, it's embarrassing to say that. And, you know, it doesn't happen very often. Sometimes we make these mistakes. And when you're live streaming, it can happen where you just mess up and in front of other people, you know? But we all mess up and that's the important thing deep down is the mma fighter can't kick a bully in the head i understand wanting to but we try not to get the guys kicked in the head you know where you are I don't know. that's all right oh fuck i knew it had to happen eventually but a bully actually knocked down my fighter i think tony was a little angry and well we all saw what happened next oh! jesus let's look at that again Oh. One more time, only <laughs> slower. Oh. Overhead camera. Oh. In black and white. Oh. Let's see cute little Chris again. Oh. With a wacky sound effect. Now naked. Now show me a bunny rabbit. And the knockout. Oh. The knockout again. Okay, a lot of, a little too much. Oh, it never gets old. Remember getting in the ring? No, I don't remember anything right now. All right. Oh. He's actually fucking that days. I don't remember right, right now. Right. That's a concerning line. He doesn't remember right now. I don't remember currently. He got tapped out four times in the first round, but in the second round, the head kick you got hit with was illegal. So I have to hand over six to you, four to you. So really, at the end of this one, the bully makes out with $6,000 and the victim gets $4,000? He made more money than him. And he probably gets to sue the show for the fucking concussion he just had. Bully fucking took the dub big time here. That is unfortunate. <laughs> oh man, not but dude, hey, hey, no. I'm not taking the money, dude. Hey, a knockout's a knockout, man. I don't, do that. I don't play that way. Take it, man. You got knocked out straight up. He has pride? The fuck? And in the end, he wins the favor of the crowd as well. That's crazy. <laughs>
<laughs> he tried to run this man over with a Jeep. And in the end, the crowd cheers for him. That's an honorable thing, man. Hey, but I'm a man of my word. Here is your grand. But this one goes to my supersized little friend right here. Yeah. Supersized little friend? <laughs> supersized you know, little I friend. I think got a lot more from this than just a good fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? You think we could squash this whole thing yeah. now? Hey, man. All right. It's all good. Yeah. No more hassle at the drive through Doing it for the cameras. Someone said it. He's doing it for the cameras. But he's going to bring that Jeep to work tomorrow. That's what I'm talking about, man. Oh, my life is going to be beautiful from now on. I finally got Wes to leave me alone. I got some money, which isn't bad either. Uh, maybe things will be looking up for me now. I really hope so. Bring us your bullies and we'll beat him up. A bully beat down. What an interesting gesticulation to talk with. Bullies are bully beat down. I go up with my hands, which is strange. Mm -hmm. Interesting show. What'd you guys think? That's pretty fun. I like that.